there's a few things that I look for when buying a pre-built gaming PC and that is what I'm going to explain to you in this video and yes I am fully aware that you can build your own computer for a much cheaper price so if you would like to go and look at the 10 or 15 20 videos that I have on how to build a computer then you can feel free to do that so there's a few things that I look for when when actually buying a pre-built gaming PC before I started building my own one is the actual speed of the CPU two is what kind of cooler is on that CPU three what is the speed of the RAM memory inside of that computer is it ddr4 is it ddr5 so you got your 3050 you got your 3060 you got your 3070 you got your 3080 and then you got your 3090 and then you also have ti versions of most of those cards not every single one of them but the ti version is usually the card that releases a year later and it gets like some sort of a overclock boost to the actual graphics card and then you also have memory inside of these graphics cards. So if you have an eight gigabyte card, that's not gonna perform as well in stuff like video editors and games that are using like an ungodly amount of settings and mods and stuff like that. The more memory inside of your graphics card, it, it works. I hate to say the same way as memory on your actual computer because it doesn't work the exact same way, but it houses the stuff inside your game like the, it, it, it like houses this stuff in it. it not it's not like the graphics of that game it's it's the stuff inside of that game that the game needs to look the way that you have it and then video editors as an example if you have your video and you're just editing a normal video like oh timeline click split delete click split delete boop delete 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 subscribe button then you're fine with lower memory but if you're if you're inside of your video editor and you're doing color grading and you're doing effects and you're doing this is so this was the most like mind-blowing thing for me when i upgraded to ddr5 and the 3090 texts for some reason the text effects were super laggy on my other computer with a 2080 and DDR4 and it was good DDR4 it was I have even have a video of it, it was like the the Predator RAM it was like 5600 DDR4 I think is what it was this one I, I'm gonna be honest man like this really is this is a super good deal for a computer like this and so ominous so I just barely the, the other computer that was here the, the like a few videos ago that was a computer i built for somebody that also had a 3060 in it that also very so the computer that i built had 32 gigabytes of ram and it had the 7700x inside of it but the thing is man like the 5600x is still a really good dude you can put a 4090 with a 5600x and you're still gonna be okay like that's so this like this cpu this model of a CPU is basically future-proofing you for when you want to get a 3090 or when you want to get a 4080 or 4090 you're not going to be you're not going to be limited and need to upgrade your entire computer all over again so getting something like this is somewhat of an investment because you're you're getting something that is going to allow you to just simply take your GPU remove it and put a new GPU in there. And the CPU, you're not gonna have to remove and upgrade. And even then, for most pre-built gaming PCs, you can't just do that because they have such a low-end, older CPU that you can't upgrade the CPU because motherboards are designed to fit specific models of CPU. So like the Z790, that's made for Intel's 13th generation CPUs. And you can also use a Z690 for the 13th generation CPU, but you have to update the BIOS and you need a 12th generation CPU in order to do that. But it would be close soon. But anyways, uh, this video is so long. I, I didn't intend to make this video as long as it will. I'll probably edit it down for you guys. But either way, man, like, 
those are really the, the things that I look for. Just let's summarize. So I look for like the actual speed and the what is it the is it the 13100 or is it the 13900 and then all of the mid-range CPUs are in between there. Or is it a 3050 or is it a 3090 again mid tiers here. And then as far as the RAM, is it DDR4? DDR5 is always going to be faster, but it's going to be a much more expensive computer because you also need a, a decent motherboard for that. So that, and then that's pretty much it. And then the cooling, but this is, that's easy to upgrade, you know, just removing it, getting some thermal paste. And there's some coolers out there for like a hundred bucks. So like, that's not like the most important thing when buying a pre-built computer, but it really, the numbers for sure. Like you want to make sure that everything is going to like, dude, if, if you buy an $800 gaming PC and you, you have fun with it and that's fine. If you just want to see if you like PC gaming, that's, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But you need to remember that that $800 PC that you bought, you're not going to be able to upgrade that. So you're literally losing like $400, $500 because by the time you go to sell that, it's going to be the price of it is going to be cut in half. And very few people are going to want to buy that computer. Right? So it's going to be hard to sell. And now you're going to have to buy a $1,400 computer. when you could have just bought that the first time. <laughs> you see, it's much easier to sell a $300 graphics card that's actually good or decent, quote unquote, versus selling a $400 potato computer that nobody wants. It's much easier to do that. So like, that's where these like, like this thermal take would come in. Like by the time, you know, you want to get a, a, a 3070 Ti, or a 3080 or a 4070 or something you need you be able to take this out and put it and sell this graphics card for like 200 bucks but it, rather than making like a, a my typical top five gaming pcs i wanted like so that you can kind of get an idea you know like because one of the most popular questions i get in those videos is what's the best one it's the one that i always say at the end of the video this is the one i would recommend but nobody watches to the end because that's that's what TikTok and Instagram Reels and all these freaking shorts. That's what that's what's happening to people. They want everything right now. Boom, instant. First second in the video, go over all five in a second, one second. Because that's possible. Hope you guys are ready to check out one of these. Catch you guys next one, peace. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff.